Surrounded by flowers and co-workers, Dr. Olufunmike Ojuwoi left Bronx Lebanon Hospital just three days after being shot in the neck by a deranged gunman. The timely intervention by the surgeons appeared to have uh, helped her recover rapidly. Other staffers who survived the shooting still can't believe what happened. Walking in this morning brought back memories, flashbacks. Dr. Tracy Tam was killed and six others injured when police say Henry Bello opened fire with this assault rifle he bought legally in Schenectady and concealed in a white lab coat. Bello, a former hospital employee who wound up taking his own life, was forced to resign in 2015 amid complaints of sexual harassment and combative behavior. We really love Dr. Tam. Uh, her loss is, is just impossible for us to fathom. The 32-year-old daughter of Chinese immigrants, her father a cabbie, Tam was known for her dedication and compassion, both at Bronx, Lebanon and Hackensack University Medical Center, Palisades, where she did her residency. She really had a, a compassionate, kind heart, and she really did um, empathize with every patient that she came across. During the chaos on Friday, doctors and nurses here suddenly had to start treating their own wounded co-workers while there was still possibly an active shooter roaming the hallways. Recovery room nurse manager Mark Burgess says knowing the victims made a tough job even harder. It's very difficult. They still have to check their emotions and try to be distance themselves emotionally and just carry on. Chief physician Sridhar Chilamuri says despite the heroic efforts under fire, the hospital is still in mourning. Yes, we had success in saving lives, but it's still a loss. And for her patients. In Mount Eden, the Bronx, Brian Connie Bear, CBS 2 News. A vigil for Dr. Tam will be held at the hospital on Thursday. Doctors say the other shooting victims are expected to be okay.